hello home bakers, how are you? And welcome to another edition of Words from a Squeaky Desk, if that is to be the name. Online courses is what I wanted to tell you before you got bored and click away. I'm working really hard here at Bake with Jack Towers making online courses. I have in mind a course platform, a place where we can go, where you can bake bread with me in your homes, wherever you are in the world. Wouldn't that be wicked? It's a crazy idea. It's taken a lot, a lot of work. And so videos might be a little bit sporadic on here, but if you want to be among the first to hear the news, you can have a look on the website. I will link underneath the little sign up sheet and you can have a little look. Look, here we go. There's a little preview for you of how stuff is getting on. Link underneath. If you wanna sign up and be part of the list of people that hear about it, uh, the first. <laughs> there I am. I've got the first few videos done uh, and I'm really pleased with how they've come across. I feel like it's gonna be as if you're in class with me, uh, but in your house. And I think it's gonna be good. So there it is. I just wanted to let you know that first thing before we get into your comments from the last couple of weeks videos. Ah yes, the first three videos of the year, 206, 207 and 208. Uh, was a nice way, I think, to start off the year. We spoke about when you've read those needed enough. I know we've done that before, but there's a little key point that I feel like everybody overlooks when they're looking at their dough because they already missed it. Uh, and 208, why does my tin loaf always split at the edge, which I know is a massive problem for a lot of people. And also 206, uh, about the things we discover and the joy that comes with making our own bread at home, which I think a lot of you appreciated. So I've got a hand selected few of your comments here on my telephone, which I'll respond to uh, in the only way that I know how. Firstly, Helen, Helen, there's Marius. Oh my gosh, what a bad start. Helen Desmares, I can't knead. My shoulders and neck won't take it, but I can meditate while looking at my mixer, doing the job for me. What will that do? Yeah, of course it will do. I know I talk a lot about kneading bread though and the joy and the peace and the pleasure that comes with it. And I am aware um, that some people can't do it for physical reasons. And I neglect you more than I should do. It doesn't really cross my mind because it's just part of my process. If you're watching a mixer, knead your bread though for you and that works for you, that's okay too. If you are using no knead recipes, that's okay too. There's a couple in my book and I'm gonna talk about that uh, in the future to hopefully not make you feel like I've left you out because of my love uh, for kneading. That would suck for you. So thanks for pulling me up on it. Um, everybody who has done in the past, I do appreciate it and I'm sorry I've left you out, but uh, there'll be things in the future that hopefully help. Angela at Silver Linings says, I love that plastic bowl. Can you share where we can get one? Okay, yeah, uh, there's a reason I don't put those plastic bowls in the bakery jack shop. That's because sometimes they, they're not that great. Like sometimes I'll get one that will last forever and sometimes I'll get others and they'll split down the edge and it's really annoying. But they're the cheap bowls that you can buy in any supermarket here. Um, well, I don't ship plastic bowls all over the world because they're like a quid a pop. Um, and some of them aren't very good. I hope you can find something suitable wherever you are. Also, in your older videos, did you rise your starter in a plastic jar? I remember, or think I remember, reading that one should never use plastic. I also heard that we should never use metal to stir our starter. Could these be myths? I used plastic until somebody on here, one of you, said don't use plastic, you're not supposed to, and then I used, now I use glass. I don't know why. I've never had a problem with it, uh, although I'm not a scientist, I don't know the science of it. In terms of using metal to sew your starter, uh, just use a spoon, man. Metal spoon, wooden spoon. I mean, purists would probably say, you know, use a wooden spoon that you've whittled out of your own uh, twig from the oak tree. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I've used metal spoons in the past. Not an issue. Frank Furter, and I hope that's your real name. Frank Furter says, curious what the hydration of your dough is that you can knead it. I've never needed dough, only some type of fault. Hydration of the dough that I need is kind of 60 to 65% hydration. That's kind of the window that you'll find in my book in terms of recipes with a few exceptions. Um, but as you start getting into wetter doughs, there's different techniques. The old Bertinet snap, slap and fold thing. 
Um, a lot of no need things tend to be a lot wetter. The sourdough is wetter and that's no need as well. There are different techniques of kneading or working the dough of different hydrations. If it's too wet to knead in the traditional way on the table, there's other ways of doing it. And maybe that needs a video as well, kind of different. I think I did one about ciabatta and kneading a super wet dough and we kept it in the bowl and kept it really light. Um, I think I did that one a long, long time ago, you'll probably find. Um, 60 to 65 percent hydration for me is a manageable dough that doesn't stick too much to the table but there are other ways to work doughs that are a little bit wetter. Judy Stennett says I'm so glad Roll It is back. A couple of, couple of people told me about this. I bake with fresh milled flour, lovely, so sometimes I have to try lots of things to get my bread great. Yes, I've learned a lot from you so keep the info coming. Few people pulled me up on the fact that Roll It is back. I'm glad Roll It is back. I don't know if we got rid of it. Did we get rid of Roll It? Let's do it now. Roll It! I know in these ones where I talk at the desk, I don't normally put Roll It in, because it's just me here, and I'll just edit this quick and put it up for you. Maybe I missed it out on a couple of videos. I don't know. Uh, freshly milled flowers come up a few times recently. A couple of people told me they've been experimenting with fresh milled flour, and what's my thoughts on it? And I've never, uh, I haven't fresh milled flour before. Everything I do is based on some kind of consistent flour that I purchase. And so, in my mind, there'll be some inconsistency there that needs to be adapted to and tweaked and changed. And uh, that stuff comes with time. So nice one, Judy. I hope you're having fun with it. It's something I'm yet to explore, but I hope I do soon. Mimo, chick, chick, uh, Not enough puff. Oh dear, Jack. I thought you were at home. Okay, that video about the split edge side tin loaf, I divulged that I'm not at home. I'm in the studio. I put those breads in early because I wanted to go home. This is not my home, this is the studio. Do you remember? I built the studio. Do you remember I built the studio in lockdown? You can scroll back and have a look at the video of me building this studio. It's not my home. Although I wish it was because my kitchen at home is atrocious. Quick thanks to all of you who dropped super thanks recently. But before I do, don't forget about the online courses I mentioned earlier. Don't forget, because it would suck for you if you forgot. It would suck for you. I'm just thinking about you here. It would suck for you if you forgot. Don't forget, online courses are coming. Link underneath if you'd like to sign up. I'll be among the first to hear about it. Massive super thanks. Thank yous go out to Kay and Gordon Aram. Thank you very much. A, Jep, thank you. L, just an L, just the letter L. L, thank you very much. Claire, Mac D. Thank you very much indeed. GC, GC007, thank you very much. R Sims 42 thank you. DK once again, thank you very much. Edwin Matthews, thank you. Jack S, wait, that's me, thank you. DK, again, thank you very much. Coco the Geeky Yogi says, we bake bread because it feeds our souls to create something from nothing. Oh, amazing. Cara Lombard, once again, thank you very much for your super thanks. Uh, new videos will be coming, although rather slowly, because I have a whole load of recipes to film. Let me show you, let me show you. You can have a sneak peek behind the scenes, one sec. If I can move this, without breaking it, it's all plugged in. See all those on the wall over there? All of those pieces of paper over there. Can we zoom in? In the darkness, our recipes. It's not working. This was totally pointless. Yeah! Recipes that I am filming for the Bake With Jack online course um, <clears throat> platform that I hope you're all gonna like. I hope you're gonna enjoy the format of it. Uh, I'm learning loads while I'm doing it and, uh, and I hope you like it, I hope you like it. So you know what to do. Sign up if you want and I look forward to seeing you very soon for more uh, things about bread. And while we're here, if there's anything you want to see in particular, um, comment underneath because I need to hear from you in terms of what you like and what you don't like and if I'm just banging on about the same thing every single week or if you want something new or whatever it is, please let me know. I'm here, as always, in service to you. Thank you very much. Keep up the great bread and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.